Hello and welcome out here on the golf course at Howley Hall Golf Club. Yes, you did hear me correctly. We're out in the sunshine. We've got a nice day here in Yorkshire for a change. So we're going to get out on the course and test some of our favourite fairway woods from the new 2023 season. So we've got quite a few here to look at. One's from Wilson, we've got Cobra, Mizuno, Strixon, Callaway and TaylorMade here have a bit of a hit with out on the course. I've also hit some on the Trackman already, which we'll talk through some of the numbers as we get towards the end of the video. But yeah, we're gonna put these through their paces, hit them, and also give you a bit of feedback at the end as to which ones we really liked hitting, which ones kind of look the best, and overall, which one we would pick to put in our bag. So let's go hit a few out here on the course, and then we'll have a chat about each one of these. There's no way I'm already so Still burning, so hold on me close. Now, baby, I do what I'm told. Still learning to take my. So, we've hit shots with all of the fairway woods in our test or review. And you can see here, we're just getting up to the fairway, and there's one just there that you can see in terms of distance. It's just short of the bunker here, which is what I was playing for. It was 255 to the bunker, slightly uphill, so probably wasn't going to reach it. And then you can see dotted around different fairway woods I've hit there's not much to choose between them distance wise obviously we're going to have a little bit of a look at the trackman numbers as well because we hit some inside earlier just to see if there's any differences but out here on the golf course we're not really seeing too much of a variance really between each model that we're hitting so let's start with TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus is the fairway wood that you'll see in many of the bags of the best players in the game so we've got the movable weight cartridge in there We've also got the adjustability, twist face, and also the speed pocket technology as well. So hitting it out here on the golf course, certainly the flight looks very, very powerful. Be interesting to see what the Trackman numbers say when we look at those, but the flight seems to be a bit lower, the spin's a bit lower, and the distance, although they're all pretty similar, the few that I've hit out here already on the golf course, this one seems to be pretty good. So if it's a club that you're looking for off the tee, Stealth 2 Plus could be the one for you. The Strixon ZX Mark II looks great behind the ball. We've got rebound frame technology in there. Obviously the second generation of these fairway woods, very forgiving, look great behind the ball. The flight a little bit higher than with some of the fairway woods we've used. Very easy as well to shape, so to get it turning from right to left. So for those of you out there who may struggle with that one that cuts out to the right a bit, this fairway wood could help with that as well. Certainly when hitting it inside, found it very easy to turn over and kind of hit that right to left ball flight that I like. The Mizuno STZ with a Cortex Chamber technology, giving you decent ball speed all the way across the face, even on those lower strikes and miss hits. We've got adjustable technology. We've got the kind of carbon look on the crown there as well but really looks behind the ball. It certainly looks very forgiving. It's got quite a nice rounded head shape, really sort of large footprint, easy to get the ball in the air. And when we've hit it out here on the golf course, really like the flight we were getting with it as well. The next we're gonna look at is Callaway Paradigm. The one I have here is the Triple Diamond in the three wood. Paradigm is everywhere and you can't turn on your TV without seeing Callaway Paradigm all over the place. Their players keep winning, the technology speaks for itself and that Paradigm shift in the technology and construction is really paying dividends for the best players in the world. In terms of looks, it's a little bit different to some of the others with the blue carbon look and that black top line there in that matte sort of finish. But in terms of the ball flight and the strikes out here, very good distance, a little bit higher in flight as well. Very easy to get this uh, golf club in the air, but also the flight was very powerful. So we'll have a look at how it performed when we hit it on the launch monitor inside, but it's definitely a fairway wood that I'd consider putting in my bag. The Aerojet range from Cobra using PowerShell and PowerBridge technology to really maximize ball speed and help you on those off center hits. We've got the hot face technology as well, more of a kind of traditional grooved style club face on here with still that carbon look and the C-Crown logo on there. It looks great at address, really forgiving, love the way it kind of sits and frames behind the golf ball there and it's very, very easy to use. This is the fairway wood I've actually got in my bag at the moment, so I really like it. I find it really easy to work it either way, and it's a great option, not only off the ground, but off the tee too. Wilson Diner Power has turned a lot of heads this season, and for good reason. It feels great, it looks great, that kind of matte, 
paint job on the top there looks fantastic. We can see the Subtle Diner Power logo on the top there too. This is a glued version, so a little bit less in terms of adjustability than some of the models that we've tried, but it looked great behind the ball, really forgiving kind of that traditional sort of club head shape. And from hitting it out on the golf course, the feel and the kind of ball flights that we were getting were amazing. Before we get loads of comments as to why we haven't got ping in this test, let me tell you why. They haven't sent us anything yet this season to do any club reviews of. So ping, if you're listening, please send us some kit. We'd love to put some of your fairway woods in here, but we can't because we haven't hit them. So yeah, for those of you who straight away are gonna put some comments in there saying, well, where, where's G430? That's where it is, we haven't got any, sorry. So now that we've had the chance to hit them out here on the golf course, let's look at what we saw inside on the track man. So let's start with the distance, okay? If we look at all of the fairway woods we've hit so far, you can see on this test in terms of the carry, 262 pretty much is the longest, which was Stealth 2 Plus. That's great, fantastic. That's maybe a little bit longer than I want to hit a three wood, to be honest. Really easy to use, nice and forgiving but it just went a bit too far. It was kind of right up there, just short of my driver, and that's not really what I wanted that club to do. So if we look at the dispersion map that we've got there, we can see they're all pretty good, to be honest. When we look at the dispersion with them all, Stealth 2 Plus is decent. We can see uh, Srixen's good. We can see that the uh, Aerojet, which is the one I currently use at the moment, is good, and Paradigm felt really good inside as well. So having hit all these fairway woods now out here on the golf course, and also you've seen the numbers when we hit them on the track, man, I'm gonna pick a few of my favorites. So let's start with looks, right? I'm gonna go with Wilson Diner Power. I think it looks amazing behind the ball. The feel off the face was fantastic, and probably my favorite out of all the ones we hit in the test today as well like i say i think looks behind the ball is great fills you with confidence love that matte paint job on the top of it and it's definitely the one i'd pick that looks the best when we move on to which one's best kind of for distance off the tee so if it's a fairway wood you're going to use maybe instead of a driver or something you're going to use a lot off the tee the one i'm going to pick is tailor-made stealth 2 plus because this thing was extremely long off the tee not only did we see that out on the golf course but we saw it when we hit it on the track man as well so we're getting some fantastic distance it was pretty forgiving and pretty easy to hit straight as well with one of the best dispersions that we saw in our test so if it's that club you're looking for to hit off the tee a lot stealth 2 plus could be the one for you so the easiest one to get off the ground the one i've picked is the srixen zx mark ii found it extremely easy to get off the ground really easy to flight and get in the air so if you're that player who really struggles with that then this could be the fairway wood for you it was also the easiest to shape from right to left in the air so as well if you're that player who maybe has that little bit of a slice needs that draw bias in a fairway wood that one could be great for you as well hopefully you've enjoyed our roundup of some of our favorite fairway woods of 2023 it's been great getting out here on the golf course testing all these out as well as hitting them on the trackman inside as well we can see there's lots of variants in the different flights and different kind of shot trajectories that we get with all these different fairway woods. If you want any more information about them or custom fitting, please drop us a line below, add some comments, ask some questions. We love hearing from you and we will get back to all of you as soon as we can. Keep watching our content here on the Golf Shake YouTube channel to help you play more and play better and we'll see you all next time.